Welcome, and thank you for being here today to honor the people who paid the ultimate sacrifice in the pursuit of space exploration. Today, we remember the Apollo 1, the Challenger STS-51L, and the Columbia STS-107 crews, and all other fallen members of the NASA family. It is important for us to reflect on the vast scope of our work, to remind ourselves of what it really means to work at NASA, where we make the impossible possible and break exploration barriers beyond the Earth and towards the stars. For those of you like me who have been a part of Marshall or NASA long enough, you've experienced both the ultimate joy of mission success and the tragic consequences of failure. Just like me, I'm sure many of you can remember where you were when you heard the news about these tragedies. These heartbreaks are imperative to remember and be used as a motivation to prevent them from happening again. January 27th marks the 55th anniversary of the Apollo 1 accident. All three astronauts, Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chafee, perished in a cabin fire during a launch rehearsal test. The fallen from the Apollo, the Challenger, and the Columbia all have places forever in our hearts and are solemn reminders of what is at stake. With risk comes a responsibility to honor what we lost, but also learn from the stakes of the past. They are why we are committed to vigilance and safety. One of my points of emphasis for the management team at Marshall is risk leadership, because nothing worthwhile is accomplished without taking risk. It is our job at NASA to leap into the unknown of our own mission discovery. We have the courage to make the jump, but first we must make the risk as small as possible, and then we go forward. As we prepare for a new era of space exploration with the upcoming launch of the Space Launch System on the Artemis One mission, now is the time to recommit ourselves to safety and excellence. We will never forget the courage it takes or the lives given in the name of space exploration. We not only honor and remember our fallen astronauts, but the many others who have dedicated their lives to the space exploration and have lost their lives. We recognize their sacrifices and accomplishments, which have propelled us to the amazing place we are today. Thank you for joining us on this day of remembrance honoring those that we have lost in the name of learning, exploring, and science. Hi, I'm Bill Hill. I'm the uh, Safety and Mission Assurance Director here at the Marshall Space Flight Center. Uh, today, this day of remembrance, uh, we, we take time to reflect on those who we've lost in, uh, in our years of human spaceflight, um, and then consider what each of us can do uh, to minimize the potential that something like uh, what has occurred in at least three of the major accidents um, to prevent that from recurring. You know, we lost some good people. Um, we all realize that we work, uh, that our astronauts work in a very unforgiving environment, but we strive to min minimize uh, the risk imposed on our astronauts as they work in space or and soon on the surface of the moon. Uh, so on this day, I ask that each of you continue to uh, dedicate yourself to paying attention to detail, to do what's right. Uh, and if it's not right, say something and stop what you're doing uh, and take a step back and, and make sure we can do it right. Make sure we can uh, get our, have our astronauts in the best position that we can. You know, our job is to identify and minimize risk, and each of you uh, should be in that uh, in that position or, or doing that kind of job. And in doing that, we've got to stay curious. We've always got to stay curious. We always have to ask ourselves, why did that do that? And if it doesn't seem right, just, you know, work on it until we figure out what, what it is, what's affecting what, what our outcome is that we didn't expect. We should have some unease with respect to safety. Um, we should be constantly uneasy about, well, is this is this good enough? And 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 we should ask ourselves that. 
And most of all, we should continue to openly communicate and be transparent about everything that we do. So again, I thank you all for doing what you do. This is a great team here at the Marshall Space Flight Center. So just take some time today and think about how can you best um, improve our safety stance from what you do every day. And with that, I thank you and uh, have a good day. Today is the annual Day of Remembrance, a day for the NASA family to come together to remember those who gave their lives in pursuit of exploration, knowledge, and a better future for humanity. We solemnly remember the crews of Apollo 1, Challenger, and Columbia, and all of those who have lost their lives so others could reach the stars. Thank you. You will never be forgotten. Today, we remember the crew of Apollo 1. Virgil Ivan Gus Grissom, Edward Higgins White II, and Roger Bruce Chaffee. We also remember the crew of the Space Shuttle Challenger. Ellison Shoji Onizuka, Sharon Krista McCulloughe, Gregory Bruce Jarvis, Judith Arlene Resnick, Michael John Smith, Francis Richard Scobie, and Ronald Irvin McNair. And we remember the crew of the Space Shuttle Columbia, Rick Douglas Husband, William Cameron McCool, Philip Anderson, David McDowell Brown, Kalpana KC Chala, Laurel Blair Salton Clark, Elon Ramon. We remember and honor all these brave women and men, along with all others who dedicated their lives to the cause of exploration and discovery. Please join us for a moment of silence as we honor these fallen heroes and all other passing members of our NASA family. This concludes today's Day of Remembrance program from NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. Thank you. Ad Astra.